We talk about investment, migration, what countries to go for lower taxes, and Ireland is one of those that gets mentioned a lot, specifically by the biggest channel in this space, as the best country in Europe, one of the best in the world for you to go and get lower taxes, for you to speak English. But we have to talk about what's happening. Protests have broken out all over the country. More than 30 people have been arrested since the protests broke out. And why are they protesting? Why are they looting? It's because they're tired of illegal immigration. They're tired of irregular immigration. An Algerian man who is Irish. He was supposed to get deported from Ireland, but he got Irish citizenship after 20 years of living in Ireland, stabbed children. Can you imagine a grown man stabbing small little five-year-olds, seven-year-olds? They have to go to the hospital to fight for their lives in front of their school because some Algerian man, not an Irish man, who was supposed to get deported, was allowed to stay in the country. And a lot of people say, I'm a racist. A lot of people say, I hate on Arabs and on people moving to Europe. It's not that I hate on people moving to Europe because I've gotten a residency permit in Europe. There's many clients that we help move to Europe from all over the world. And I've helped people from even Algeria and from Tunisia and all of these countries move to other countries legally. But we are talking about illegal migration. And Ireland is one of those countries that pushes for refugees. Welcome. Bring millions of people from other countries. And even Conor McGregor has been talking about this. There is a war against Irish people. They want to take your property. They want to give it to illegal immigrants. Illegal immigrants can storm into your property and probably no one's going to do anything about it. And they are not being deported. They are allowed to get Irish citizenship after years of living in the country. And Ireland is talked about one of the best places to go if you want to lower your taxes, if you want to improve your life. I would argue it's one of the worst countries. If you want a place that is riddled with illegal immigration, that is on the verge of a civil war, that people are fighting against each other, that the media is calling far right. They're saying, oh, these far right protesters are always calling out the far right. Whenever we criticize immigration, whenever we criticize refugees, yes, help refugees, but help them legally not 10,000 that show up on your island and now you need to distribute them all over Europe like it happened in Lampedusa and Italy and all over Europe and all over the United States and the UK. This is a huge problem. And there are countries that are not allowing this to happen. Even in Europe, Hungary is the prime example. Poland, although they don't allow illegal immigrants, they are kind of in a controversy that they allow thousands of people from India, from Africa to enter Poland. And I've been to Poland many times and I've seen a lot of people that are not supposed to be there and they are there. I don't know how they got in there. Hungary, I would say, is the only example. I would say Romania is another good example in Eastern Europe. And there are other countries that are protecting their borders. The ones that we talk about here, UAE, everything has to be done legally. Other places like Thailand, everything has to be done legally. If not, you get deported right away. If you get caught working without a work permit, deported for life. There are many countries that protect their heritage, protect their people, and they care about their citizens. And they're not calling people that are rightfully protesting. They are protesting the killing of children or the stabbing of children by a person that was not supposed to be Irish. Those people are called far right. You cannot tell me that Ireland is one of the best places to go if you're a wealthy expert. It's not. The weather's horrible. <laughs> the country itself is in shambles. People are criticizing it every single day. So if you're looking for a better place to go, Ireland is definitely off the list. And this is really happening all over Europe. And you're seeing this massive wave of control, the shift of power from native Europeans now to illegal immigrants. They are now, for example, in the UK. They are now in Scotland. They are now in France. They are now in Spain. They are taking power over the government. They are slowly creeping into society. And obviously they are crossing the border in the United States. 10,000 illegal immigrants every single day or migrants. And you, the taxpayers, pay for it. And that is why it's tell you, get a second residency, get second citizenship. I've gotten three new citizenships because I believe you want to have as many options as possible so that if in your country, there's a massive migration problem, they start kicking people out of their homes, they start kicking people out of hotels and putting illegal immigrants in there. They start taking your tax money to house migrants as they're doing in New York and all over the United States. US taxpayers are paying millions and billions of dollars to house Venezuelan migrants that have come in illegally that you did not want in your country and the government is just letting them cross the same thing is happening in Ireland the same thing is happening in all these countries in Europe and this is a massive problem so if you want to get away from this problem if you don't want to contribute to this nightmare with your tax money go somewhere the options that I talk about here on my channel there's over 20 30 countries I just recently made a video on seven countries you can go it's right there Andorra Kazakhstan as an example Mauritius one great country to go. You can get Turkish citizenship by investment. You can get citizenship in the Caribbean. You can have multiple homes around the world. 
And if the country that you choose to live in for now turns into an immigration nightmare, then you can go to an even better country. In Ireland, the media and the government is portraying this as an isolated incident. They are saying that this is not because of immigration, this is not because of refugees, this is because there are bad people in the world. So just like Irish people would commit crime, then also people from other countries would commit crime. But this is what they have to say this is the agenda this is the narrative to create a world without borders to attract as many refugees many immigrants as possible to then paint the people protesting this the people protesting for their country for their values for their culture as far right and creating this giant problem in society the government is not here to help you they're taking your taxes giving it to people that are not supposed to get it illegal immigrants and they do not care about your interests and specifically your wealth. If you're a wealthy European, then look for other countries in the European Union that you could potentially go to. Tax exemptions, multiple of them, specifically in Southern Europe, Malta, Italy, Spain. If you're tired of the EU, get a second citizenship. It could be in South America. It could be in Mexico as well. Brazil, Argentina, two countries that I'm exploring a lot now for permanent residency and citizenship. I'll keep you updated on those. Southeast Asia and other countries, for example, in the Gulf, UAE, that keep their immigration controlled. They want it to be all legally done and they protect their citizens and their residents and long-term residents. If you're looking for a European country to go and move to for lower taxes and now you're scratching Ireland off the list because of their immigration problems, their massive protests and overall the dysfunction of the government, click this video right here on the best countries in Europe. I myself chose one of these countries that you can get a tax exemption, you can live a better life and enjoy your wealth and your freedom even more.